why don't you talk? I said, I, I'm under authority. The Redeemed Christian Church of God belongs to Cain, and we belong to PFA. And in Cain, we have a president. In PFA, we have a president. Whatever they say, that's what I've said. That's why I keep my mouth shut. But I feel compelled to say some things to those of us who are to those who are young and upcoming ministers of God. And everything I'm going to say is from the Bible. So if we want to criticize what I have said, you have to criticize the Bible. Number one, it is written. There is nothing hid that shall not come to the open. Mark chapter 4, verse 22. Mark 4, 22. It doesn't matter how long you think you've done something and it's covered that it will never come to the open, then you can go and throw away your Bible. Because the one who said so, the one who said there's nothing here that will not come to the open, is the truth himself, Jesus Christ. The abinga of grace. Because there are some of us who think that somebody like me, they say we are old-fashioned. I agree. I'm old-fashioned. I'm old-fashioned because Jesus is old-fashioned. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He hasn't changed. God the Father is old-fashioned. The same dress which he has been wearing before the foundation of the earth is what he's still wearing today. God is not fashionable. He only wears light. Nothing hid. Nothing hid. That will not be made manifest. Two. Sooner or later, according to Numbers chapter 32, verse 23. Numbers 32, verse 23. Sooner or later, your sin will find you out. Be sure. That's what the Bible says. Your sin will find you out. Oh, if you have given your life to Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus will wash away all your sins. But after you gave your life to Jesus, you continue in sin under the guise of grace. As the Lord leaves, your sin will find you out. Which brings me to number three. I'm advising all the young ones. The Bible says you must abstain from every appearance of evil. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 22. First Thessalonians 5, 22. <laughs> the elders say, They want to burn you. You rub yourself with oil and you sat near fire. You've made the job easy. The backbones, I mean, the elders, African elders, not me, oh, I'm, I'm a young boy. The elders say, 
they are calling you a thief and you are playing with the child of a goat I'm, I hope you understand the elders say what you are not going to eat don't smell avoid every appearance of people avoid it just one more point and then I go to what we want to discuss today the Bible says if the devil comes to you face to face to fight you he says stand and fight receive the devil and he will flee from you but according to 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 22 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 22 he said when you find yourself facing youthful loss temptation he said don't wait to fight flee you know the meaning of flee flee means run as in terror when you see a sister smiling at you in a Koi koi we. Run. Run. As in terror. Don't say, nah, nah. I'm a great man of God. I'm highly anointed. Uh, ask Samson. No, you will say he has come again. He's an old fashioned man. I agree. That's what they called me when I said I will never have a private secretary with a woman. No, private secretary has to be a man. Hey, because, listen to me, my brothers. When a woman accuses you of something, nobody is going to listen to you. Nobody. They will listen to the woman. When you say, Where is witness? Sister will say, do they invite people to such things? When well, you say, ah, how can it be me? Everybody will say, how come it is you that she has mentioned? Of all the men, I am old fashioned. But I was ordained in 1975, and I'm still surviving. It is better to be old fashioned and live than to be modern and die. Why do I hear somebody shout hallelujah? I've not said anything 